So one of the questions we get all the time uh, or, or issues is that people's second floor is a lot harder than the first floor. That is probably 99% of homes in Pittsburgh. Uh, I can confidently say I have a Cape Cod that heats and cools terribly. We were able to change that in every floor in the house. Every room is the same temperature. So uh, ideal comfort is achievable. Uh, sometimes you got to work at it a little bit. I can remember growing up, we always got yelled at for leaving the door to the basement open. Uh, I had no idea why we were getting yelled at, but uh, being in a heating and air conditioning family, it's because cold air is heavier than warm air. So it naturally wants to fall down the stairs. So if you want to do some free things to make sure that your home stays as comfortable as it possibly can, a recommendation would be if you have doors between the first floor and the basement, make sure they stay closed. If you have a door between the second floor and the first floor, make sure that stays closed. Not often the case. So on your second floor, the bedrooms, the bathroom doors, if you want those rooms to have a chance of staying comfortable, the doors have to be closed, right? We're pumping cold air into those rooms. If we don't want it to fall down the staircase, we need to trap it in those rooms. And the only way to do that is by closing the doors. Um, the second step, if you're feeling adventurous, is go around and check, a, check all your registers in your house. You can easily find out if it's a supply or return. Just take a Kleenex or a paper towel. If the Kleenex stick to the register, it's a return. If it gets blown away, it's a supply. In the summertime, we don't need a ton of cold air on the first floor of a two-story home. So I recommend closing those registers down slightly and making sure all the registers on the second floor are open. We want to get as much cold air from the second floor coming in. We want to keep the doors closed so it can't return to the basement as easily. And on the first floor, we want to restrict airflow uh, a little bit. That can make a tremendous difference. If you're interested in total comfort, I mean, there are things like mini splits. There's things like duct booster fans uh, that we install that are professional grade. They're super quiet. I have a couple in my house that are fantastic. Uh, we can do those things. We offer free estimates if anybody's interested in that. Uh, there's definitely solutions to get your house comfortable. You don't have to live with a second floor that's 10 degrees warmer than the first.